Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm here with a catch-up of my Jeanette Velvet Sand Leather from the company Vanderspeck, or VDS for short. I do get quite a number of questions on this leather over time and they just keep popping back so I, I just thought, you know what, I'll do the catch-up video now. Um, I was thinking of doing it much later on because I haven't been in this planner like constant use. I did think about filming one a month after I got it but it there wouldn't be enough use on it for me to say, oh yeah, this is like fully what happens when you use it all the time. Um, that wouldn't that wouldn't work. So here I do have quite a number of marks on it that is just gonna stay. Um, I've tried using the eraser, the brush and all that jazz and I just won't take it off anymore um, or at least to the minimal. And I've got some pen marks on there that I don't know how on earth managed to get there but it did and they're permanent. They're definitely permanent. There's no way to get them um, off this leather. So yeah, um, as for the general care as well, so let's go through that one first. So I would say for the Jeanette um, Velvet Sand, and I do have here the Jeanette Brown as well, I um, sprayed like two layers on it inside and out with this spray here, the Colinini, Colini? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I just can't bend it. Anyway, um, so this I believe is available in Europe. I'm not sure in the States, but I think in the States you have another one called Apple Guard. I've seen Sierra from SM Plans show it in, I think, one of her videos for the Undyed. Um, but this one here, um, it does specify, um, where do you call it? Da, 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 da. Let's see if I can find it. It does say like nut buck suede leather, which is what um, the velvet sand is. Ha! Um, Oh, you're not going to see that. Anyway, at the back it says, um, for protection, perfect protection for all smooth leather, suede and nut buck and high tech materials. So this would definitely cover this, no bother. It Did it do much of a difference from what I see? Um, I mean, having it on there is better than not having it on there, especially with how easily I got the mark on the inside. And when I first, um, receive this planner and then you'll see in like previous videos I got this little random mark um, and that was just general water random splutter or something <sighs> yeah just like water droplets going across so um, I did manage to get that out uh, with a spray anyway I would say yeah there's no harm in putting a, a water resistant spray on it and um, protection spray um, on either one of them I done I think I did three layers for this one um, I did one layer first and after 15 minutes um, did the other side and then after 15 minutes I sprayed another round on it for and then waited half an hour and then the other side half an hour. You don't really have to wait that long. This one actually dries really quickly like less than two minutes it's pretty much dry but I just like to have it properly settle in. Um, but yeah I'm pretty sure I did three coats on this one and only two coats on the Jeanette Brown. Um, so that was the first thing I did. I should have done first actually because I, I got a little mark on here. I just yeah never mind lessons learned. Um, it's it's a planner freckle as Lindsay would call it that actually sounds really cute. <laughs> um, so that's one of the things I would get. Another would be um, this brush here. This is actually a recommendation. Well, these two products oh, here um, was actually a recommendation from Denise, um, who is Lightly Lux on Instagram, I believe. I'll leave details down below. Um, so yeah, do check out that description box um, because I try to cover as much as I can in the box. Um, the only thing I, the reason why I don't do links is because I'm based in UK and majority of my viewers are from worldwide, mainly in the States. And there are some products that if you just put it into Google, it might bring out like a, a cheaper place for you to get it in the States than where I get, which is Amazon in UK and all that jazz. Um, sometimes I find a UK shop, which is where I had to reach for to get these two products, but I'm pretty sure you could get it on Amazon based in the States. Um, so they're by this brand called Saf Safira. Um, this is one of the brushes um, that Denise recommended, as well as this eraser. This eraser is a savior for this um, Vinette, um, velvet sand. Like, honestly, 
little tiny splutters it can get rid of it the only thing I would say is don't overdo it because it can change the texture of the leather and you can see here I did overdo this bot <laughs> just it was through general use as well but I really went at it and yeah it just changes the texture slightly and sometimes it just leaves that kind of slightly darker mark over use uh, but yeah this is one of the brushes um just like a general brushing out the marks if you can there was another one that a friend recommended, uh, Valeria, who is Alibi Design Studios. Um, she also has the Jeanette Velvet in the Hobonichi Weeks, and this is one of the brushes. It's also by this brand. Um, again, I'll leave the name down below. It's Sophia Beach Crepe Brush. And what she recommended was try this brush first, and if this if the brush doesn't buff it out gently and it just doesn't want to fully come out then you go into the razor but normally that brush can actually just take the tiny little watermarks off that you get on it um so yeah definitely recommend that brush there this eraser here it looks like this so yeah just gently buff it out in one direction don't go both ways or either you're gonna get with a real rough mark and don't overdo it um so those two products as well as uh water protectant spray make sure it says something along the lines of suede or nut buck leather um, for the velvet sand um so yeah those are the products i would recommend you getting as like your starter kit for for keeping a velvet sand um as for the general wear of my flyleaf, now I do keep like um, acetate or vellum on top of it um, as a deco piece so it doesn't really show much use on this top layer here. I think there's a slight colour difference as well um, just because it, it's just kept the same as like when I first got it on this side. Um, I do have slight wear on this pen loop bit here um, as it does this part does rub off um, on the inside of the planner here so you'll do see a bit wear on there um, otherwise it's actually held up quite well I still got that um, suede feel to it absolutely love it and then on this planner here got a little pen mark that it won't go away anymore the most use you're gonna get of course in um, this planner is where the buckle is because you're constantly going like this so this bit will get the most wear and so will um, this part of the strap. Um, I do get a bit of use um, wear on the spine as well. You might be able to see slight lighting differences in this spot um, just due to yeah just holding it constantly in that area as well um, and then this area here right there um, I did get a few watermarks there and I had to go in with the eraser and then over time it'll just be like that. Um, so there's that and that's how it looks on the inside. I would say the inside's actually done quite well. <laughs> um, uh, well, what shall I, what else is there? So I got a war mark here, I managed to get that away. I do have a couple of marks in this little area. Um, and they'll just stay, I think it's just due to the pen. Um, what's the other little bit? I had it in my head and I just blanked out right now. Um, in terms of the patina, I would say it pretty much stays roughly the same in terms of colour. It just goes like a pinch darker, a little bit shinier in this spot. Don't know if the light is catching it quite well. Like here, I would say like very small areas of patina. Otherwise, the colour is pretty much the same, so I really do love that. It definitely is like that chocolate powder you put on top of hot chocolate which I really do love um it's honestly an absolute beautiful color um but yeah super duper happy with how it's holding up um general character building if you're not used to like planners marking up really quickly this this leather might not be for you but um I hope that helps um there are a number of people that have this now um Shannon um has an A6 uh, Denise has an A6 um Arel also got an A6. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, I have actually blanked out, but there are quite a number of people. Lindsay used to have a pocket uh, that she got from another person. Lucy, I think it was the same one. Um, 
But yeah, there are a number of Velvet Sands bouncing out now. Some of them have like the full inside and out, some of them just have it on the inside. Um, so I'll link a few people down below who have it and you can see um, their planners in action, just how it's going for them. But yeah, that, that's really about it um, for this video. It's quite short. I can't believe I managed to actually, oh, actually, is it quite short? I managed to blab for so long. Um, but yeah, that's how it is for the wear and what products I would recommend you um, going with as a care package for the Velvet Sand. So I hope this helps um, and I'll chat about my Jeanette brand in another video. So thanks for watching guys. See ya. Bye.